It's been quite the 74 hours, but there are clearly sparks in the air. I'm not just talking about this rusty chainsaw, though I do not recommend I do recommend staying away from those sparks. It's time for our newcomer to confess her love. Wait, I have to do a drum roll for this. No, you don't. Who cares? Nails, who do you pick for your solo date? Can we at least do the flower thing? You're right. I thought we agreed to keep that between us. No, that flower thing. The thing where the suitor gets a flower as a symbol of the contestant's love and affection. Oh, right, right. I suppose. But no roses. It's such a cliche at this point. Well, that's good because I tried to pick a rose. But I got an ouchie, so I settled for the use. Beautiful. You've done good, Dwight. That's a lovely bouquet. I hope Dwight saves some of these for Claudette. They're a thing, right? They're getting that vibe too? Just me? Sorry, sorry, sorry. You got other things to think about right now. Now, who do you select to receive these flowers and spend the day with you today? Spirit! You approach Spirit. Peering below the brim of her impressively large hat and into her haunting eyes. Spirit, since I met you, I've been enchanted by your presence. You challenged me to be a better person and resisting the urge to show me the sharp end of your katana. For that, I thank you. I'm ready to take our relationship to the next level. And we shall, up to the eye of the dark storm that, are, that is our reality, to the lantern room of the Black Valley House. It's time to see what you're made of, Nails. I thought it might be nice to start the day off on Trapper's Yacht before we head back to the Black, uh, the Black White House. Even if I kind of hate this basic tropical vacation stuff like yachts and snorkeling or whatever, it's good for you to see me in a little sun, in, a, in the sun a little bit, at least. There's more to me than what you've already gotten to experience. I know that my whole life, my whole vibe could be a little dark. The hat, the swimsuit, the plum of floating hair. This hasn't always, this wasn't who I always was. I was no more young woman once. Went to school, hung out with friends. Even had a part-time job working at a restaurant in town. And then, well, I know what happened. Your father, he, yeah, yeah, he murdered me. And I woke up as an undead Avenger. That's not what I was getting at. Something else happened to me. I realized I needed to be seen. I don't even know by whom. I just... A lot of time, when you think about ghosts, there are these kind of see-through, flickering uh, spectres. Can you imagine reaching out and having your hand go through them like that? Go through them? Ooh. Like that sort of thing. Maybe there's some warpy effect of the world around you. I don't know. Depends on which movie you're watching. But when I died, well, I dare you try and reach your hand through me. Not really, that's not an invitation. It's three three at it's three at throughout thera What the Why did it end up this way? Who brought me here to this island? Who knows? I'm not I don't I'm not sure. I've got my ideas. But I'm not exactly out here digging around in caves and dusting off antiques and trying to find clues and analyze their meanings. I do want to take this experience seriously, though. I want to give the process a chance. But you just woke up on this beach with no memory of who you are or where you came from. And rather than freak out and simply try and swim away, you're giving us a chance. I actually didn't know that swimming was an option. It's not. However, the fact that you are never even tried, I think that means you got college. Or an open mind. Or I don't know. Maybe you stuck around. Maybe you stuck around. Because you like someone you met here. Maybe. While the two of you were getting all deep and philosophical, philosophical, physical, wordy, the yacht pulled up to the shore next to the black house, uh, the black white house. Why stop, everyone? Off. There were other stops? 
Oh no, not for this trip of your life. Spirit rolls her eyes and leaves off, leaves for the shore. I'm just messing with you. This is the only stop. Nobody here is really looking out for our fun. So have, have fun. So we have, uh, have to make it for ourselves. But no, there are no other stops. Seriously, go. Where's you to the poop deck, Dwight? The ship doesn't even have a poop deck. Oh, it will. As you disembark, you see Dwight and Claudette running Googling across the ship. Too bad you can't date these two. They seem like they know how to have a good time. You arrive at the beach near the majestic white, white house. It's imposing, warm towers above you. A flock of birds circle lazily, no sense of fear or emergency or urgency, as if circling a corpse that hasn't moved in ages. I'm excited about today. See, spirit places her wrist delicately on your hand and presses your fingers down against your skin. It's cool to the touch, but you feel it's that faintness of pulses. My blood is absolutely pumping. So what happens now? Now I show you something that no one has ever seen before. Well, no one has ever lived this tale about. We're going there. Spirit points to the top of the lighthouse. I'm on the circle of birds. What's actually out there? Have you seen it? Hey y'all, how's ever Wraith? How's everyone going today? Uh, hi Wraith? You seem chipper today? Something strange is definitely going on with this guy. Well, something else strange. Something different than what's usually going on. Wraith takes a deep dip. Wraith takes a deep breath. Sucking in the air, ocean air. Like it's the greatest air that has ever been sucked. Nails, thank you. Thank you for choosing someone, anyone else to go on a stage today. Alone, again, forever. That's how I was meant to be. I feel alive. Are you done? We're kind of, you know, on a date that you just mentioned. I'm glad you're feeling better, Wraith, but like you said, we're in the middle of something. Do you mind? Oh, right, right, right. So what you doing? Heading to the eye of the lighthouse? I love it up there. You can really see the whole island from up there. In fact, Spirit, I thought you said no one else has been up there and lived to tell the tale. This sounds exactly like telling about it. Technically, I don't think Wraith counts as being alive, I mean, I don't maintain the canon, but... Spirit waves her arm at Wraith from head to toe. And if he's not uh, not dead now, he's going to be when I punish him for interrupting our date. And now we can solve our problems without hair floating up into any menacing shapes. I'll just be over there, running away. Enjoy the view, whoa! You know, I think Wraith was kidding about the whole thing being up there. Honestly, the view isn't even of the island. What you can see is mostly uh, uh, ocean. On account of being, uh, on account of it being, you know, a lighthouse. However, that does bring up an interesting point. Regardless of your, how do I say it? Spirit's hand floats up as she scratches her head. Contemplating it. You don't usually see her at loss of words. What's your moral status? Because despite of our lanky friendship, seems a thing. Our lanky friend seems a thing. The White House is not to be trifled with. It's a beacon of death and suffering that uh, brings doom to it from all corners of the world, if not for them. Well, duh, you saw a freaking pirate ship seamlessly travel to the space and time only to crumble at the rocks beneath the speaker of tower. The spooky tower. But we decided not to bring it, point, point it out because that wouldn't be too romantic now, would it? I think I'm alive. I'm here with you. Walking this beach. Going to water on my feet. Going to sun on my skin. Here, with me, the spirit. Does that really make you feel alive? I guess I don't know. You come with me to the eye of the black lighthouse. You may never return. 
Is that a risk we're going to take? Because we have something. I won't deny it. I feel it. I'd hate for you to simply turn to ash. If you were to commit right here now to, co to figure it out as friends, we could put that risk off for another time. Just friends? Just be friends? Ouch. Is this her way of letting you down easy? I don't know if I want that relationship. I want you. That's why I chose you. I can't decide this for you. I can only warn you that it may not be safe. You might die up there. Nothing I can do about it. We came all this way. Let's just do it. You take a deep breath and think about every particle of the sea's air as it travels into your body and fills your lungs. And maybe the last time you have such a thought, but you feel strangely at peace with it, with the information. I don't need another friend. I want something more. I risk my life for it. Spirit smiles a quirky, devilish smile. Right this way. <clears throat> my throat is all messed up now. Inside the White House is almost pitch black. It was seemingly day when you stepped through the door, but inside this place is like a is like a void. The last thing you see as the final rays of the sun leave you as a horrible sight: the petrified body laying on the stairs, reaching not up but down, as if it was been crawling. Watch your step. The things we do for love. When you, when you arrive in a lantern room at the top of the black white house, you breathe a sigh of relief. The light is out and seemingly def defunct. Dust hits the room as though it hasn't been operated in a century. However, some somehow, it was this morning, a moment ago, but, but now it's night? What do you mean? A moment ago? We've been standing here looking over the ocean all day. I've really enjoyed the peaceful time together with you. Taking a view, standing in complete silence for hours. It was kind of my perfect date. Really, I don't remember that. I just called it the perfect date and you can't bother to remember it? What kind of game are you playing with me? I want to remember it. It's just that for some reason my mind is completely blank. But hey, I'm not dead. Well, you're already dead. And you have been this whole time. Hmm, that's true. We will never know. It doesn't look like the light is working. Even turned off, the light has power to it. The massive lens refracts moonlight through itself. A subtle spark that has a hypnotic effect. Maybe that's where my whole day went, staring into this light as the sun fell and the moon rose. Thanks for spending the day with me. I really had a good time. That's it? Don't get me wrong, this is really cool and all. I just... I guess I just don't know what I expected. I suppose you thought you were going to... I suppose if you thought you were walking into your death and nothing happened, I might feel a bit anticlimactic. Sorry, anyway. It's time to go. Here, let me flip on the light for the staircase so it's easier to get down. Hmm. The stairs look, still look pretty dark. Maybe it... Spirit is interruptedly interrupted by a strange hum. And then it uh, becomes frightening clear to you. That switch wasn't the stairs. It's for the main lantern. A lantern that was... That is now beginning to power up. The fact of smell of burning begins to reach up to your nose. Oopsie. Looks like maybe that switch wasn't for the light, uh, stair lights after all. Now we see who is really alive and who is really dead, I suppose. I was bound to ha- it was bound to happen sooner or later. You swim your eyes closed, hoping that something, somehow not looking at the light itself would protect you. 
Not sure if I see the logic in that, but if it's magic, it kind of defies my logic. I want to see it, but, but I'm a little scared. Don't look directly at the light. Open your eyes and look only at me, and I'll keep you safe. Ready. Oh gosh. Shoot. There we go. Perfect. Oh, you have to do it multiple times. Not bad. Oh my gosh. Perfect. Again? Oh my gosh. Sorry. How am I getting these? Are you okay? You seem okay. I hope I haven't ruined this by pushing you to do something you weren't meant to do. You're so brave. Maybe not so coordinated, but certainly brave. I'm so lucky to put yourself through this with me. It shows that you're real. Despite your attempt to resist it, the incredible force of energy from the Black White House's lantern, I refuses to subside. No, it cannot be ignored. It doesn't matter if you look directly at it or not. In the end, that was a trivia game. And this is real life. And real magic. You stare at it now, and it power penetrates your mind. <clears throat> hey, been a while. How are things? Doing good? Feeling more dead? We're more alive. Yeah, love will do that to a person. Don't worry, it'll all make sense. You wake up to hear spirit's muffled voice. You got a terrible taste in your mouth like burnt hair, and the air feels damp and smells like ash. It takes time for the sound to clear up. But eventually, Spirit's words start to make sense to you. However, it's clear she's talking to someone else, not you. You know how sometimes people say, It's not you, it's me? Well, this time it's you, and it's also me. We're about to die, aren't we? I can't believe I thought you would change for me. I can't believe I thought you were doing this it was a sacrifice. You never gave, me, gave up. You never give anything up for me. Well, today I saw what love looks like, and it looks a whole lot different for, than this. Oh. I don't think you're hearing me, which is weird, because I'm practically a shopper. Nobody breaks up a trapper. Nobody. Oh, yeah? Fine. Nobody breaks up a trapper. But I'm not doing that. I'm dumping you. Don't say it. I'm dumping even Evan McCallick. Macmillan. And there's nothing you or he can do about this. It's over between us, Evan. Ren, I... Trapper turns off. Trapper turns from spirit and looks directly at you. You realize you're lay that you're laying on the ground with some... of some weird tunnel. I think that you're shouting... I think that you're shouting woke up nails. Uh, <clears throat> do we keep acting like we're asleep? You tuck your face in your elbow and let out a long unconventional snore. You might as well have announced, I'm wicked and uncomfortable. I've grew up surrounded by lazy miners who are constantly sleeping on a job. I know what a real snore sounds like. Get up, Nails. Huh? Who? What? What time is it? Where am I? Trapper, is that you? You know damn well it's me. The power and beauty of my voice is unmistakable. The jig is, as they say, up. They know you're awake now, and you're going to have to deal with this awkward situation head on. Clearly, I shouldn't be here. You two are having a very personal conversation, and I don't need to be involved in it. I don't even know how I got here. Not how this island or here in this creepy tunnel. As far as this island goes, your, gu your guess is as good as mine. As far as this tunnel goes, who brought you here? We? You and Trapper? But... 
After the lighthouse light came on, you blacked out. On your way down, I thought you might have hit your head or something. It's hard to tell what blood is new or old around here. Either way, I wanted to get you someplace safe so I can ask Trapper for help. It's not that I can't carry you. I just didn't feel like feel like it, you know? I hate everything messing with my shards. Trapper, on the other hand, he was nothing more than having an unconscious body draped over his shoulders. Should have asked Claudette and Dwight for help, but I don't I don't trust them. But you trust Trapper? Well, I can trust are two different things. You might think Trapper can be a real jerk. And you'd be right. But you get to see what but you get to but you get what you see with him. We brought you down here because we're the only ones who know about this place. It's part of an old tunnel network that connects different places on the island. <clears throat> this just turned out to be an interesting date. This just turned out to be an interesting date. What's up, guys? Talking Island Mysteries, my favorite topic. I was in an, I was just in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd pop in. Pepper, you said this place was private. Don't look at me, I didn't tell him about it. Half of the appeal of this spot is getting away from these people like him. Well, geez. I can see when I'm not wanted. So, three... You, you three are a thruple now, or...? But I gotta say, I really, I really didn't get the whole trapper spirit thing, but hey, it's not my business. I don't stick my nose in it. We're not a thing. Nobody's a tra Nobody traps the trapper. Not with traps or relationships. And did you realize you're sticking your nose in our business right now? Wow, so hostile. You don't want to talk about it, just say so. Anyway, this tunnel has some very interesting features. If you head about 50 meters down that way, you'll find... Get out! Breathless around, just to be doubly sure that the trapper isn't addressing him. I was just leaving. This island, it's a lonely place. It's just great for me. I love to be alone. The trapper, on the other hand, he's quite needy. And after a lot of pursuit, I finally let him catch up to me. And it became, well... I don't want to call it a relationship because somebody really didn't want to have to have that walk, have that talk. But we were more than just friends. I dispute the events as told for the record. I don't pursue, I stop. In a lion wit. Seeing eye to eye was one of the only things we were good at. So I had to ask. Did I look into a refrigerator-sized death lamp? So I, so I guess I'm more of a gluten for punishment than I thought? What were you good at? Well, for starters. Excuse me, I'll take your question. Thank you very much. If you know anything about me by now, it says I'm on a quest for revenge. Exactly. What you might not know, Trapper is like a great... Classical Mysterio, Mysterio, Mysterio of, re, of Revenge? Trevor blushes me on the mask. That's one way to compliment a killer. Revenge against friends who had turned their back and betrayed him. Revenge against a father for making him into a monster. Revenge against a barista who wrote Ewan on his cappuccino. No one's name was actually Evan. Uh, Evan. Someone who thinks about revenge as much as I do, Trapper is an inspiration. I just say to never date your heroes. Good advice. But I don't think that's what. I don't, but I don't think that's what I'm saying. And then you gave me one nails, and you show me that it's okay to be lost, to feel pathetic, to push on when you have nothing real to offer anyone. I'm not sure where you're. I'm not sure where you where you got all this from, but okay. You held a mirror up on my own doubts, and fear showed me that they aren't everything about me. 
that I can embrace those things, but not define, but but not be defined by them. You showed me that life and death can be more than just an observation with revengeful, mindful, blowing sets on that dark on the ground in a dark cave or a dusty old tunnel. <clears throat> trapper nudges you in the ribs with his elbow. Gross. Clearly appealing to the trapper's better features has been a winning tr uh, strategy for dumping his ass because he seems to be taking it quite well. Well, this whole half ass dating show parody thing, at first I obviously thought it would be a lame idea. What kind of moron thought there was an audience for this? But then we spent time together and I realized there's something actually real here. And I don't want to give up on it. I don't want to give up on us. Listen now, it's while you were knocked out unconscious by the, some major head trauma, like a total weak one, spirit confined in me that she was real feelings for you. I took it extremely well, naturally, because I trust her and her value opinions. Doesn't mean I trust you. If you want to get to her, you have to get through me first. By passing Trapper's test, coming to BHVR TV, Saturday is on 8 p.m. Working to Trapper's test, answer my questions directly or die by my blade. Oh my god. Question one. What spirit's real name? The one given by her murderous father, which one she lets her real friend show her. Friend. Okay, you got that one. Don't celebrate yet. Question two. What lives inside a spirit? A dragon. Sure, everyone knows that. It won't all be this easy. Question three. Where did the spirit work back then as a normal college girl before she was well hell bent on revenge? Restaurant. I know, do you think I would date a date or a waitress? Don't tell my father I ever mingled with that help. With that help like that. He'd, he'd be so disappointed in me. Question four. What spirit's favorite color? Black. These questions are. Are these questions uh, largely superficial? Sure. Maybe I didn't get to know the spirit that well. Maybe that's why we don't. Uh, maybe that's why she don't. Maybe that's why it didn't work out for us. Who knows? Question five. The final question. According to the spirit, what's worse than being dead? I have an unfinished business. Oh crap! Which one was it? You got really close. I want to make a moment to applaud you for doing so well until now. But that's not what happens when you get the question around the trapper's test. If death wasn't bad enough, the last words you hear before trappers split your entire body in half into. Okay, at least it gives us another try. Born to spirit, what's worse than being dead? I don't remember this one. <clears throat> there we go. When I pitched the trapper's text, has two suits that at BHVR TV. They told me there was no room in the budget for a new car to be given as the final price for women. So I killed them all. Right there on the spot. While killing them didn't solve any of my budget, any of the budget problems. Sure did feel good. I'm telling you this, A, to brag, B, to explain why the only thing you're going to win is me saying congratulations for passing the trapper's test. Not that that was, not that it was some huge challenge, I mean, the woman assessed with a, a giant light that shines in the darkness, shines in the darkness, has a chip on her shoulder about being seen, go figure. Probably guessed, but rules are rules, even if I literally just made them up, you got it right. So I guess I, I prove you dating spirit, or whatever. I really never cared for this, never, I never really cared in the first place. 
I was just hoping you'd slip up and give me a good excuse to wet my blade on your blood. Maybe I'll find a reason tomorrow. For now, you two have fun. Wink, wink. Trap her out. I'm sorry I had to endure that. What, five measly questions? It was nothing. Not even that, as ridiculous and unnecessary as it was, the whole thing. You're looking up in a random tunnel over here in your ar our argument. The news that Trapper and I had something going on in the stupid quiz. All of it, especially the whole Trapper out catchphrase. It's only because I actually like you. None of it wouldn't have happened if I didn't. And I like you too, Spirit. Please call me Ren. Ooh, so we're on a, like a personal name basis now. Ren. I didn't really feel like our lighthouse experience was completed. There was nothing else I wanted. There was something else I wanted to show you. Alone in a lantern room of a tower. Get your mind out of the gutter, Nails. It's not that kind of a game. What's that? Hold on a moment. I'm being told. No, wait. It is that kind of a game. Disregarding the gutter comment. Come back out there with me. There's no place I'd rather be. Bow chicken wow wow. You decided to return to the lantern room of the White House, despite of all the drama and were that previously a part of the place for you. Most importantly, you are excited to see... You are excited to be there with Spirit. Which makes it all the more crushing. When you're interrupted by the rival Claudette and Dwight... Dwight, Claudette... Funny seeing you here. Wait, did I say funny? I meant tragic. Tragic? I don't think so. What could be tragic about a family reunion? There are always joyful occasions in my in, in my experience. Before they can explain what's even supposed to happen, the White House, the White House begins to howl a low, frightening sound. The winds begin to glow in, in, a, familiar, in a familiar way and prepare to show your eyes in case something bad happens to you again. Now isn't the time for a reality show and adjustment scene against Dwight Claudette Shows your eyes. We don't have to. We don't know what the the White House will. Now, now, please don't interrupt. You think after all this time, you know that we've got your best interest in mind? Wait, what? No, of course I didn't think of that. I. Go watch your ears, friend. I asked you not to interrupt. Too late. The black, uh, the black white flares in darkness. You see something horrible and strange. In a strange of in in a place of Claudette and Dwight are two glow silhouettes. Before you can focus on them, the white passes and two survivors are united with their normal states. It's breezy up here. What in the hell? What in the hairy hell? Hey, watch that language. You shouldn't speak that way. It's just the dad. And around your elders. Grandpa? My little Ren, you're such a woman now. They grew up so fast. Uh, what? Now let's meet Grandpa Kazan. Yamako. Yama. Yamakoka? Yamagoka? Well, technically, it's not just Grandpa. Technically, he's my great 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 grandpa. But that's a lot of greats in, in a way to, to say in a row. <clears throat> I haven't seen my little Ren since I watched over her from the afterlife when she was just a little little girl. And I expect you all to say the greats. It's a matter of horror and, res and a matter of honor and respect. Except Ren. She can do whatever she wants. My precious little angel, like you. I only stare at you with the demonic red eyes. You're pretty sure even a decorative third eye on his mask is looking at you. You mongrel, you must treat me with respect, or so help me. I'll be queer and bits off your head up with my... Off my Kanabu. Kanabu is like a metal baseball bat covered in spikes, FYI. <clears throat> I'm not sure what a peasant looks like, or like you doing so close to a descendant of the whole noble Yamakoa. Yamaoka? Bloodline in the first place. Dirk, Claudette, explain what's going on to me. Mr. White, sir, and Claudette, remember? 
We explained to you that you were going to come meet with your great 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 granddaughter sooner and give or without or withheld your approval. Five greats? Five greats. Great 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 grandfather, sir. Your honor, master, sir. Right, he's a samurai, I judge. Grandfather must have summoned you here because I think you have a great judgment. Because if they summoned you, summoned my father, I would be too distracted by torturing him with all the eternity to continue with the rest of the whatever it is. Show? Game? Experience? Oh yes, that makes sense. Only a man of my own power and magnitude can tell or can help. Self-important much? Nice to meet you, Kazan. All my friends and family call me Kazan. Those who tremble in my fear and fear in my presence call me Oni. You're seeing a, se uh, a serious resemblance to Trapper. Not only the sheer size of the man that Oni is, but also his attitude. Apparently, his spirit has a type. You sure can see. You, you sure. You sure you can or want to measure up to that? Downs on you that. Wait a second. Maybe you do resemble resemble Oni. Every time you try to look at your own reflection, however, you become dizzy and confused. The simply deserves more thought. But now's not the time to consider the fact that you might be some kind of Vulcan vampire with the first ever case of self blindness. There's a massive samurai and mad dog in you, and two steps away. But you don't scare me at all, so I'll stick with Kassan. Present. I realize how true how I realize now the true purpose of my visit to extinguish your light. Only waves his cantana in the air at you men menacingly. My great 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 father. My great 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 granddaughter, apparently. Hold up there, grandpops. Not so fast. You're, you're only supposed to kill them if they deserve it. First you should get to know them a little bit better. Young people these days always want to kill people. It's just that they must deserve it. Back in my day, you did what needed to be done because your no, because your nobility depended on it. In his day, for such an opposing presence, he sure is uh, giving off serious old man yells and clouds and vibes. <clears throat> See, when I was a young man, we didn't have foreigners on our land. Didn't need them. We had an abundance of culture already. A little too much, if you ask me. But I didn't, ha I didn't make the rules. The rulers did exactly how it should be. Literature, art, commence. Theater, fashion, poetry, puppet shows, ghost stories, courtesans, gambling, fighting, fine dining, fast food, public executions. What were you talking about? Spirit giggles at a great, great, okay. I'm not saying all this every time. That only needs for, uh, forgetfulness. You wonder, does he even like this guy? Or does she even like this guy? She sure hates her father, so. Listen up, old man. We don't have time for you to visit every activity available to a samurai in the entire of the Edo period. Someone's peasant. Showing your ignorance. Samurai were portable from any activity it didn't benefit the Bushido code, such as attending certain thea theatrical performances. For instance, sometimes, however, a samurai would put on a disguise in order to seek out any entertainment. Now, I'm not saying I did that, because I had honor, and a body built like an entire castle that is quite hard to hide. But clearly, you have neither of my honor nor my physique. You don't even know about the ins and outs of shifting rules of traditional Japanese samurai ethnic, you fool. Brian, what would you want with such an uneducated admirer as this? You find it hard to believe that any contemporary person knows all that much about who? Who was and wasn't allowed to do what leisure activities over 100 years ago? However, really not sure how to handle this massive demonic old man. 
Oh wait, I get it. Sweet Ren, my beautiful descent. You invited me here to do what you're trying to do. Bash it, short set in. Quite a stores. Fetch fetch my canabo. Ren wrap your robe around your, this mongrel's hands and tie them still. Or splatter their brains on the beach together as a family. Grandpa, no, that's not why I've invited you here at all. In fact, I didn't invite you quite it into white what and did. Oh, haha. -ha. Yeah, sure. Wink, wink, wink. This whole saying wink out loud thing is getting out of hand. Him and Trapper really do have a lot in common, don't they? I swear, Nellis has a kind soul and a heart of a warrior. They fought for my love in their own way. Faced on de but face down death more than once and put up with their fair share of nonsense. Nonsense which seems to be endless, can we? I don't know. Wrap this up already? Of course, of course. Who am I to expect anyone to wait around for my approval? I've only been hanging out as a ghost and watching my bloodline be polluted by cowards and quitters for five generations. Just come give your ancestors in law a big hug. So we're drawn, only beckons you closer. There's no way that he would ever hug anyone in his heart of life. I think I'm good over here, Ashley. Red, now. Push them my way and I'll split them in half. The sacrifice of this unsuper to the Yamakao blood one will surely bring us back to life and set us back to the course of honor. You're so silly, Grandpa. We both know that only one sacrifice can get our family back on track. Remains from my father, your great 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 grandson. Traitor to the Yamako's name. The less provides in your voice, it does me with cheer. And never forget who I am. I suppose, if this is the person you want to be with, to go on your journey of bloody revenge with, I should trust your judgment. The shirt aside you blooms from the same cherry cherry tree that was planted centuries ago by our shared ancestors. And if Nels ever treats me poorly, you have my word. On our family's honor, I will wield my katana and get them like the fish. Better not fuck up then. A tear rolls down from behind Oni's demonic mask. Sure you want to marry into this? And one last word of advice, my dear girl. The father's stuff, don't forget it. But maybe stop focusing on so spe specifically and obsessively on it. What he did was awful. But it was already done. Do something for yourself now. Just my two cents. Be well, Ren. I will see you again soon. Now let's go, servants. Quint, Dennis, return me to the stables. I assume my dragon has been fed and tended to. Uh, yeah, sure. I swear, this is still better than dealing with Trapper's dad. I'm sorry if I was disrespectful. Maybe a great, 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 great grandfather. You seem like a very special man. I realize I will never measure up to someone like that. A warrior with a hell of a fashion sense. I mean that mask. Don't worry, I would never expect you to. Or want you to, really. All I wanted was the biggest brute alive. I'd be down in Trapper's Cave right now. Avoiding his vintage bear traps. But that's not the life I've managed imagine for myself. The sense of abstract duty, anger at a world changing around me, lust of blood. That was no way to live. And yet, as you know now, as you know now know, this is the Yamato way of life. Forever I'm cursed to battle against the dragon that lives inside me. Or at least maybe I was until now. Call me the dragon tamer, baby. You haven't won this game yet. Please don't ruin it. Sorry, I have no idea where that came from. I think we spent enough time in this winter room. We should get back to the beach. The moonlight sets a romantic mood as storm clouds roll in and surrounded the, the black lighthouse. You know, the sun might have set, but we 
Wait long enough. It will rise again. Ooh. Spirit removes her sheer robe, showing you her strappy black bikini. Her pale skin glows under the light of the moon. Maybe you could help me get a head start on flying to Mars Lotion? Or sunscreen? Again? I mean, yeah, of course. Last time was, uh, well, I definitely felt more connected to you afterwards. I told it to be totally real with you, I kind of just asked you as a goof, but I really enjoyed it. I swear, though, if you tell anyone about this, I will not be labeled as a foot freak. Not that there is anything wrong with feet, it's just that something about that kind of attention really gets people talking. Steady. Steady. Am I going to mess this up again? Close. I'm gonna mess it up again, ain't I? I'm waiting for it to like snap at me. There we go. Almost. Yes. How am I getting the harder ones, but not the easy one? I don't even know when to stop it. Come on. There we go. God, that's so goddamn hot. I love feeling your hands sliding up and down my feet and in between my toes. My skin has never been more moist. Get up here right now. Before you can find a towel to wipe off your loathed hands, spirit grabs you and pulls you up in close. The roll slops into yours. You're surprisingly soft and warm. The sensation is incredible. Clouds cover the moon and you'll find yourself on the beach with spirit and complete darkness. You can feel the narrow straps of her bathing suit come undone and come to life. Shaking through the air, wrapping around your body, lifting you up off your feet. Come here, you. So, this is what it feels like? To fly? As spirit pulls you close, you feel bits of glass press into your flesh. Painful and pleasure mitts and wash over you like the ocean. Salty air stinging your skin as you writhe against your dead lover, your undead lover, the White House house. In the darkness, you're pretty sure that spirit lets the dragon inside of her take over. If it kills you, you're sure it will have been all been worth it. The clouds part just as you manage to pull yourself, exhausted away from the spirit. A chunk of broken glass is lodged on your shoulder. When you pluck it from your skin, it drips wood. Sorry, I I think it's just stuck in me where we were when I was when, you know, I was having the best night of my life. Spirit drags your fingertips over the sharp end of the glass shard. Keep it. Consider it a memento. I've got plenty more where that came from. Congratulations to herself. You arrive at the beach to find Claudette and Dwight waiting for you. Now it is time, Nails, to face your destiny. Ask me about that. Nails, can we talk privately? Maybe, um, not here. Maybe someplace we could be better to talk for this. You know how we feel about scheduled spirit. Very strongly. You know how I feel about you telling me what to do. Don't do it. Like I said, I'd rather have this talk with Nails privately. It's not right to do it here in front of people. You know, from experience and upper management in my father's mind, I learned that you're going to fire someone. It's best to do it in public, so they don't freak out. Please, enough of the fire talk. Wait, you think? No, she couldn't be. You seem so in love. Well, I mean, not really. Spirit is still a spirit.
But if I tried to imagine Spirit in Love, I suppose she hasn't attempted to murder Nails yet, so... Okay, fine. You're just as good as mine. Really, that girl is very hard to read. Word of us, though. You're going to end it. End it quickly. In my experience, the more pathetic the creature, the more annoying the final boys, the final house are. I don't need any advice. Everyone out, except for Nails. Did someone say final house? What kind of... That kind of my whole gem. I can stay, right? Especially you, out. Lame. One with spirit, you feel something awful hanging in the air. More awful than the lingering smell of that uh, cleaver body spray. Oh, uh, that gag. I'm gagging. We're all gagging. The cleaver body boy spray. Spirit, Ren, I. I don't know what you plan on saying, but before you say anything, just know that I really, really enjoyed my time with you. Getting to know you over the past few days. Help me get rid of. Help, help me get the. Help me to get to know myself. For that, I just wanted to say thank you. That's sweet. You're welcome. And you know what? It's the kind of thing that shows me that you've got a good heart inside of you. Too good for me to carve and toss into the ocean, but also too good for me to love. I need to find someone who shares my interest. Someone who I can connect with, someone jaded and dis discompassionate. Only driven forward by the, a desire for revenge. I need someone who isn't so warm that I feel so cold in comparison. I need someone who isn't you. Damn. Would just be friends? I don't know if. Before you finish that, just know if we're not friends, we'll probably become enemies. Now we'll destroy you. Friends it is. I'm glad to have you here for me when I need you, but also not too close to me when I don't. So yeah, I'll see you around. Damn. So we had like a one night stand. Spirit starts to leave. Wait, what? That's it? That's how this ends? You're just leaving me here? I'm not sure I'd use this word ends, but... And for that matter, I won't say I'm leaving, but us, we're definitely through. The fact that you can't see that, well, it just proves that we really, we never really belong together anyhow. Do not know us. What the hell, I just spent all this time on the island, doing everything I can to get to know you. Only to be told I could just leave the chocolate factory through the side door? I don't know what that means. Anyway, I said goodnight now, see you around. Jeez. Jeez, I'm sorry. What a bummer. Hey, why did she keep saying she'll see me around? Gosh, I have no idea. Some of precious jewelers lived happily ever after, as they should. Learning to love themselves first and their most. While I was trapped in a never ending cycle of torture of my design. Wait, did I just pull my try right handy? You made it this far, you should probably know that. Now you'll have to play this play again to find out more. Goodbye now, see you later. And again, and again, and again. Forever. The end. Dang. <clears throat> I kinda seen that coming. But yeah, and that was it. Um really enjoyable. Um I kind of assumed we'd probably get dumped at the end, but, um, it is what it is. It had fun. It was enjoyable. It destroyed my throat reading all that, that much in this entire playthrough, but, yeah, if you enjoyed, uh, hit the subscribe button and, uh, so you can get some more of me. Alright, see ya.